And in the simplest terms possible, uh, can you describe how these vaccines work and how is it personalized for each patient? Sure, sure. Uh, the, the first thing I would point out is that, you know, I think that sometimes there is some uh, discussion of, uh, of some of the uh, downsides to vaccines in general. And uh, um, I think certainly uh, it, it is uh, uh, good to view vaccines as one of the triumphs of modern medicine that is saved uh, millions of people from suffering. So uh, I think starting from that framework that vaccines have a, an excellent safety profile and have done a lot of good uh, throughout, uh, throughout recent history. Um, as I alluded to, this is a therapeutic approach, not a prophylactic approach. So, And what does that mean? What's the difference between those two approaches? Meaning, meaning you're, you're administering the vaccine after a patient has already been diagnosed with a cancer. And that, that's a, a great clarification point. And that would be therapeutic? That would be therapeutic versus preventative or, or prophylactic, uh, like, a, like a childhood shot uh, is, is prophylactic. Um, but the key to a vaccine, just like it is for childhood shots, is you have to identify something that's different about the patient's cancer cells than normal cells. And I think that's why it's taken a long time to get to this point, because we, it has been difficult to determine what those differences truly are. Um, and really, in the last 10 years, we, we now have ways to look at all of the uh, uh, DNA in a, in a cancer cell uh, and, and determine what is different about that cell versus a normal cell. And then once we know that, uh, we can, uh, using a, a, a number of software tools, uh, come up with uh, ways to identify which of those targets we can put in a vaccine. Now, the, the, the goal of, that, of using that, those differences in those cells is to, uh, again, in the way that people get vaccines uh, conventionally, is to administer those differences to a patient in a way uh, that the patient's T cells, which are white blood cells that we all have, that uh, healthy patients all have in their, in their blood, uh, which are very, very specific. Uh, and once they get activated and boosted in this way, uh, they can then home and very specifically target the cancer cell. And you can, you can think about T cells in this way, uh, almost carrying out a soldier-like function. Uh, they, can, they can proliferate very rapidly uh, to very significant numbers if they're, if they're activated against the right uh, target. Uh, and hopefully uh, a vaccine will stimulate enough of those uh, to home to the tumor site or sites uh, and either eradicate or control uh, the tumors that, that you're vaccinated against.